Hello everyone, this is a factory tour、um, that is focused on our testing rig side.、Um, the sound was extremely loud in the factory. So we're gonna be doing a voiceover for a good part of it. So let's start. So we purchased a new rig. This is the monster rig that we've been referring to. You can see the difference with this one is that the front wheel and the rear wheel are spinning at the same time. It allows us to put a lot more weight on the body of the scooter compared to the old rig that we had to tape、uh, weight on the scooter itself because we were out of place for new、uh, weight. So it's great that we are able to test both wheel at the same time with heavier weight, and on top of that, we can decide. The amount, the height of the bump that each wheel is gonna take. So is it gonna be one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter? We can adjust it、um, to really see the what is the limit of our scooters. And you can see on this old rig, only the front was spinning, the rear one was fixed, and now yeah, it, both of them are spinning. So that's great. But also the handlebar,、um, there is a weight、uh, link to it. The idea is basically that the We are reproducing a more realistic、uh, situation where the user weight is on the handlebar as we accelerate and brake.、Uh, you know the back and forth movement.、Um, I guess on the old machine there was no weight on the handlebar, so this is actually changing everything when you do、um, those kind of rig testing、uh, on a scooter. On the old one, we were able to outlast 5,000 kilometers with the same amount of weight on the new one, and this added weight swinging at the handlebar. We are able to brake scooters within a、uh, thousand kilometers.、Uh, an important note is that we usually put around、uh, 250 kilos on the scooter,、uh, so really pushing it to the extreme. And it's riding for 15 hours a day at 12 kilometers per hour. This is the fastest we can go because the whole building would shake if we go faster.、Uh, so you can imagine the amount of stress that is being put on the well, the motor, the bearing, the suspension, the handlebar, the folding mechanism, the neck, the stem, the body itself. It's、uh, it's really intense. We are pretty happy about this rig because we are finally able to brake scooter, find the limit, and most importantly, we are now buying competitor scooter, putting it on this rig, and comparing ourselves to well. Here we are doing the waterproofing of our scooter, the waterproofing test.、Um, so those lights, as we mentioned, we are putting them in water, and we see for how long they can run, literally submerge in water. Uh, and that leads to improvement, like、uh, the glue that we mentioned here, to seal them uh, properly. Uh, and so far, well, we are, they're able to run for days in water,、uh, and, it, and it's fine.、Uh, so maybe we can even show you. We take this, all of this, and there you go in the bath like this, and turn them on. So you can see that that's a peace of mind because your lights are exposed to the outside. So you want to be sure that they are well blocking the water coming in, and even in the event that they are submerged. Well, nothing's gonna happen, you know.、Uh, so that's a really good test. And here, this is the not so visually appealing stuff happening, but just as important,、uh, we are we are testing the motors here. So every batch we receive, we test a couple of motors just to make sure they are the same output.、Um, and the same thing for the batteries.、Uh, so we are doing complete discharge and charging tests,、uh, and can see that all those one right now are. Discharging, discharging here and here are charging.、Uh, so it's just to make sure that when we get the battery, the cells that are inside have the same capacity and they are、uh, aging the same way.、Uh, so that's、uh, that's necessary again. To, that's linked to our our QC step. You want to ensure the consistency of the parts that you are getting from your supplier. So there you have it. It's only gonna get more busy in here. Thank you.